Yeah, this is a real article that actually got posted on the Toronto Sun. And that kind of blows my mind. Today we're going over onto this piece, written and published by Terry Koshin from May 16th, so two days ago. And it's a really short article, so I actually feel kind of comfortable going out there and just kind of reading the entire thing verbatim. But the title of the piece says this, The Chicago Blackhawks are the favorite to land Austin Matthews if he is done with the Maple Leafs. And I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. This is a real article that was published on the Toronto Sun? This is a thing? And yeah, this is a thing. The article is right there. The link is going to be in the description. If you want to go ahead and read the piece, which we're going to do here, it's really short. But this is what Terry Koshin goes out there and writes. Can you envision Austin Matthews putting his offensive talents alongside the skill that Connor Bedard will bring to the NHL? The latest odds have the Chicago Blackhawks to be the favorite to land Matthews if he has indeed played his last game for the Maple Leafs. Okay, first off, odds. What odds? What do you mean, odds? Secondly, Matthews has another year left on his contract with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, you're really going to assume that he's going to get traded this offseason and just straight up have that happen to him now. Okay, we'll roll with it. Let's continue on with the article. Chicago, of course, won the 2023 draft lottery last week, and Bedard is the consensus choice to be the first pick overall. Bedard has the potential to be a franchise-changing player. You then have yourselves literally three more sentences in this piece. BetOnline.ag has Chicago at a 2-1 to odds on being Matthew's next team if it's not the Maple Leafs. The next are the Coyotes at 3-1, to the New York Rangers at 5-1, to and the Kings and the Golden Knights both at 6-1. to the greater chance is that Matthews remains in Toronto. Matthews wants to get an extension done this summer, and there has been no indication from the Leafs that the club would rather move on than get a contract done. And so that's the entire piece. You know, normally I feel bad going out there and reading entire articles on YouTube because writers put in work to publish the content that they create, and I don't like to go out there and just steal it all. I like to take snippets from articles and put them in and say, okay, if you want to read more, the link is going to be in the description. But this article is so short that I just said, okay, well, let's just read the entire thing. It's going to take like 30 seconds. Chicago is listed as the top destination for Austin Matthews on a betting website. And that's why this article was made. That's why Terry Koshin went out there and wrote this piece saying, hey, Chicago is the favorite to land Matthews. But as you could sort of tell from everything that was written there, there isn't really any meat to the bone aside from this betting website going out there and saying that it's going to be the case. There's no NHL insider going out there and saying that there's a link. There's nobody on the inside sort of giving us a hint or two. Nah, this is just a betting website doing what a betting website does. Putting up bets to get people to bet money on it. Realistically, these betting websites don't have much more knowledge than me or you. They're just kind of there. They just kind of exist in order to make money. That's why they're there. And so they create bets and they create odds that people are going to bet on. And if some odds seem a lot more realistic that people are going to bet on instead of others, they're going to put those odds there. Okay, Chicago won first overall. Let's say that Matthews is going to go there now. If people bet on it, then great. That's what we're doing. That's what our job is, to get people to spend money on things that may or may not happen. If Austin Matthews actually does go to Toronto, then hey, it's two to one odds. If you bet a hundred bucks, you can get 200 back. Like, cool. But is that actually going to happen? Is Austin Matthews going to find himself a new home in this NHL offseason? Well, all the indications that we have seen from the Maple Leafs and Matthews himself, they said no. They want to keep him, of course. Elliot Friedman went out there and said that Matthews has the potential to be the highest paid player in the NHL. AAV-wise, in a couple of years, we're seeing all this talk about the Leafs needing to shell out all this money. And so far, there isn't any inclination that we have had that the Maple Leafs would not want to do it. They apparently feel good about this. And so for an article like this to be published in the Toronto Sun, maybe in a newspaper too? Is there a newspaper version of the Toronto Sun? I'm not in Toronto, of course. I'm here in Vancouver, West Coast guy. So I don't really know too much about the media publication platforms of this 
organization, but if they're publishing newspapers and this article is one of the pieces in the midst of everything, I could just imagine that Maple Leafs fan that doesn't really do too much online work just kind of watches the games, keeps up with the draft lottery, reads some articles, and that's how they get their information and fix of NHL content. I could imagine somebody... Just somebody's like grandpa or whatever reading this and being like, wait a minute, Chicago? Matthews is going to the Blackhawks to mentor Connor Bedard? Two to one odds compared to every other team. Oh my goodness. Like, could you imagine the outrage? Could you imagine just the panic? The sheer unadulterated fear if anybody finds out for the first time by reading something like this that Matthews is destined to go to Chicago? And not even just Chicago, but they're... Other teams listed, the Golden Knights are on here, of course, the Coyotes, but who knows if the Coyotes are even going to be a thing by the time next season rolls around. And you know how people's attention spans are these days. People are going to read the title, they're going to read the first two paragraphs, and they're going to be like, oh, okay, Matthews is going to Chicago. That's great. And then you have to actually scroll down and wait a little bit before it actually says that there's a betting website, betonline.ag. That's the reason why this article is being written. Like, some of the comments in the Toronto Sun article go out there and say, wait a minute, what is this writer talking about? Why was there a need to go out there and make this article? And, firstly, I'm happy because this article was made because it gives me the right to go out there and say, hey, wait a minute, there's an article, we can make a video about that. And I could debate people as well. People are going to come into the comment section of this video and get all enraged and talk about how this is a crap troll and how I'm not a good person for making this video and the dislikes are going to come in like crazy, but it's great because YouTube doesn't show dislikes anymore. So I'm taking advantage of the system. Is this writer doing the same thing? I really don't know, but... Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire idea, even acknowledging this idea, bringing this up and saying, hey, Chicago has an opportunity to get Matthews. You see Patrick Kane leave, you see Connor Bedard come in, you see Taves leave as well, you see Matthews coming in too. From Kane and Taves to Matthews and Bedard in the span of an offseason, can the Chicago Blackhawks get this done? And assuming it even is a thing, then what does it take? What does Chicago have that Austin Matthews could get traded for and that Toronto would say yes to? I could imagine the first overall pick is kind of in that conversation, but if it's not Connor Bedard, you want to have these two playing together, is there really anything that Chicago could give up that the Maple Leafs would say yes to in a Matthews trade? I mean, sure, the Blackhawks have good prospects. Kevin Korczynski is over there. They had a whole bunch of first-round picks over the past few years, and they're going to use more in this year's draft. So, I mean, there are a lot, but is that enough? Like, do you just pile on every first-round pick the team has accrued and used over the past few years and say, here, Toronto, Matthews, does that really get it done? I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're a Maple Leafs fan, what are your thoughts about this article being written in the first place? The entire presence of this idea acknowledging itself. And do you think there's any reason to believe that Matthews could be a hawk in the next few months? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.